He has the speed, the stamina, the skill. He is tenacious, talented and a team player. Combining the best of Brazil and Barcelona, he's one of the most decorated defenders in football history. He's the one and only Dani Alves. It's a dream come true to have succeeded in getting into Brazil's national team. It was something I never thought would happen. My dream was always small. And when I saw how I was progressing, I kept dreaming higher and higher. And in the end, I got the solid career that I wanted so much. Alves left Brazil as a teenager and after six successful years with Sevilla, began an incredible period with Barcelona. The stage between adolescence and manhood, as I always say, was something I went through in Spain. Since my arrival here, I've really developed culturally and as a footballer, and I think it's proved to be an excellent decision to come here. I think that in the last five, six years, we've had incredible squads. When people thought that we couldn't get any better, we went on and achieved even more. I think that stability is great in football. It gives you the career you can only dream of. I think rival teams will try harder to win against us and sometimes they might do better than us. But we have the desire and the will to win, to always beat them, always to be up there. So I think Barcelona is worthy of the admiration of the real football fans around the world. Many of the plaudits go to Suarez, Neymar and Messi, but the whole team has performed to the highest standard. I think the cameras focus on them because they're great. I always say if you can achieve great things, then you deserve them. I have lots of great teammates, like Mascherano, who had a great World Cup. And who could have been considered the best player in the competition? He's great at breaking the game up. But perhaps he won't get the awards because he doesn't have as much of a high-profile position in the game. Sometimes individual awards can come after team successes, as no one will speak about you if you don't win. But this is a great team. Everyone knows what they have to do and their role within the team, and no one feels more important than the other. Aquí soy feliz. Y si no estoy aquí, aquí seré feliz porque soy uno más de ustedes. Si expreso tu opinión, pues es mal visto porque las personas pienso que If you give your opinion, they don't like it because people are only ready to take compliments, not criticism. Even if it is your own humble opinion. Well, we all have freedom of speech. And whether I like something or not, I will always give my opinion. Following other great Brazil fullbacks, Alves has nearly 90 caps, but he knows results must improve for his country. I think the national team is a reflection of how the game in Brazil is doing. When it was at its best, it had a big influence in the game. And that brought great respect from other nations to see how well the team was doing at that time. For us, I think football has continued to evolve, but we've been left behind a bit in this aspect. We're trying to improve, and we're fighting to do so to be able to compete again at the top. After spending much of his career in Spain, Dani Alves still hopes of a return to his homeland, to his first club in Salvador, Bahia. They gave me the chance to play football, and I would like to show my gratitude to them before I retire by playing again at that team. I'm looking after myself to do so, 
to avoid going back and being disappointed. I would like to finish my career there as a way of saying thank you for everything they have given me. What I miss most about Brazil is the people, how they experience football, how they're totally in love with it, and how they show that passion, and how they cheer on their team and show their support. Here the style is calmer and a little colder, but you adapt to it, because you're still doing what you love, and when you do what you love, you don't think much beyond that. Muchísimas gracias. Visca el Barça, visca Cataluña y visca la madre que parió a todos.